My name is Rusty. Welcome to my worship guitar channel. Do we need theory to play at church? Maybe not. But knowing a little bit of basic theory goes a long way. In this video, I will show you how chords and scales work together. Why is this important? To create rhythm and lead lines all over the fretboard. So grab your guitar and let's get right into it. This is a simple concept, but it will help us navigate this entire fretboard. We will use the key of C for these examples today. So if we just play the C major scale on one string, starting here on the A string in the third fret, that elementary scale that we, a lot of us just push aside, but for each one of those notes, there's a chord associated with it. Check this out. C major. D minor. E minor. F major. G major. A minor. B diminished, and then back to C. This is important to know because just say we, we're looking at a, a C, an F, and a G, those are played together all the time. Do you know why? Because they are the one chord of C, the first note, one, two, three, four, the fourth note in that scale is F. F major. One, two, three, four, five, and that's a G major, G note. And so on. It's so important, and every one of these chords I just played can be built with the notes of this scale. The key to using this in the real world when we get put on the spot at church or wherever we're going to play music. So if we just take some fragments of those, those full chords. C, F, G. Then we can connect them with the major scale. Check this out. Those three chords, and you can do this anywhere in a fretboard, it's just a simple concept that you take chords that are in a key that the chords can be built from a key like we sh I showed you here with the C major. But these little groupings are all over. With this knowledge, we can own this fretboard. We can really visualize and see groups of notes that connect and sound good together. For me, I spent many years playing chords and, and the pentatonic scale, but I really never had a connection. And it's the, the notes in these chords are built from something, and, and in this case, they're built from that major scale. And, and I, you can associate most music with the major scale. Obviously, you need some technique to make these come alive to sound like music. Just looking at the chord shape, Mm -hmm. 
F. C. G major. Just playing in one spot on the neck, but you can do this once you get comfortable, you'll do it all over the fretboard. Again, just taking the chord shapes, the basic triad, the three notes that make up a chord. I bent up a half step on uh, seven here, release, and down the chord. You can do this. because those notes are in the scale. Also, from five to six, hammer on pull off. Then seven, then seven to five on G. F. G. Also, with the C, you can you can use a major seventh even if the rest of the band isn't playing it sometimes, especially during an ambient time in the service. If you take a full C chord and then remove that one finger, you take a C note to a B note, C major seventh. Or take this grouping here, barring in the fifth fret of the D, G, and B strings, C. Adding the B note here in the seventh fret of the E string. I love that voicing, that sounds great. This concept will work in any key, and, and simply you can just move it up, let's say, to D major. The same G and A this time are in the key of D. to play at church? Maybe not, but knowing a little basic theory goes a long way to just being confident. You can grab a piece of a music that just has the chords on it, and when you have this knowledge, you, you see, you can map out a few things to have some options to play. Rhythm and lead lines. This is going to help you at church, but it's just going to make you a better guitar player. You're going to have confidence, a lot more fun, because confidence is fun. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, and remember, God is good.